Ah, uh, fuck Elon Musk. I'm gonna start a lot of videos like this, I think. I think it, it really, like, encapsulates what the video is. You know? That way you can hear my squeaky-ass chair, my fuck Elon Musk, and you can know to uh, take me super seriously and not click off the video. <laughs> All that sarcasm aside, uh, yeah, no, I really mean it. Uh, I promised this video during my vlog stream last night. Um, for those of you who don't know, I do a regular stream uh, every Saturday to talk about comments on my vlogs. It wouldn't surprise me if this uh, particular one also got a significant amount of comments, most of them negative. I've started to get downvoted, so that's fun. Uh, my my two previous actual vlog vlogs, uh, the one about the UFO and the one about uh, Esoteric Entity, uh, and his dumbass, racist, fucking pedophile-enabling server. Um, those got some downvotes, so that's fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, the rest got a, a positive record, but we'll see We'll see how long that lasts. Uh, if I start actually being a, a personality people listen to and take seriously, maybe my videos will start actually having significant amounts of downvotes. But who knows? Uh, the point is... Fuck Elon Musk. Uh, I am so fucking tired of libertarians being bootlickers. People who call themselves libertarians, but really either aren't or haven't thought thoroughly enough about their positions and uh, what those things translate to in order to make fully like sound and logical points... Um, and in order to maintain a libertarian ethos long term. Uh, and one of the, the severe fallbacks of libertarians uh, oftentimes is that they will uh, unfailingly like suck the, 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 the taint of any business that appears to be doing better than government. Uh, and then they won't look into it any further. They'll just say, my free market! Um newsflash to those people there isn't a free market there hasn't been a free market uh it'd be nice to have one someday i definitely push for that but the only way that's going to happen is anarchy right now the market is heavily controlled and nothing is the result of the free market no successes no nothing uh if you're here to tell me that the free market alternative to nasa is uh, is is spacex and the free market is solving the problem of global warming by electric blah 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 free market now might be a time to uh turn around and run away because this video is going to trugger you but basically fuck elon musk like this isn't specifically a fuck uh right libertarians video uh, although there is a hefty sprinkling of that because I feel like they worship the guy like an idol and he fucking sucks. So let me let me describe to you uh, why he fucking sucks because it's, it's fairly comprehensive. Uh, I made a tweet the other day about this subject that made a lot of people very angry. They didn't like the fact that I had to say these things to say and they didn't like... They wanted me to not do the speaking thing. They wanted me to delete the tweet, I assume. They they super hated the fact that it was there and not not there. Because if it was not there, then they would not have to do the thinking thing with it. Um, and, and, and a lot of these people would rather not do the thinking thing very hard. Um, but my tweet was, Elon Musk sucks. Uh, tunnel project cancelled. He lied about cryptos still promotes the ones he likes, took government assistance, relies on government launch facilities, grifts about private space flight, built an input-output device for your brain, poor worker treatment, and more. Like, fuck this guy. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, no, I mean, that fairly well sums it up. Um, I, I, I think... I think we can close the books here. This will be the shortest vlog yet. It's not even five minutes. Holy shit, it's ten seconds from five minutes. Uh, um, maybe I should continue and elaborate on these points. 
because uh, people don't already think I'm enough of an asshole, and this will uh, convince the stragglers, because I'm picking on their poor, innocent, selfless little man who's just trying to get us into space. Except he's fucking not. He's not trying to get you into space. Um, those of you who have been here uh, since I started these unhinged rants uh, have seen my uh, space... Uh, uh, globalism video where I went into the fact that there's a lot of fiction out there that tries to get people all jazzy about space but it's always government and it's always government doing government bullshit and it's like they're not going to take you <laughs> you're not going it's not happening um well since then uh and since I told uh uh non-voting Nick about that um the subject of watching the expanse came up and I have been uh, spoiler alert, you skip like ahead maybe 15-20 seconds if you don't want this, from now. Everybody dies, it's because of government, there's corporate corruption, and a caste system. Most people don't get to leave their home planets, and the people who do are often fodder for bullshit. Ha <laughs> ha Really good show, I like it. Yes, finally a space show that has realistic space flight that involves like mini thrusters and not just magic space bars on the side of your space spoon um or 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 like <laughs> audible lasers in space while you zoom around in your um millennium fursuit the whole idea of uh space uh, things in general pisses me off because uh it's unrealistic uh, these things would never happen, and it's almost always propaganda for government. So it's like, yeah, you're going to find the shittiest people in space because <laughs> you're putting the shittiest people in space. Like the UN, Halo, come on. And there are like so many fucking examples of this. Now, to be clear, I did get some feedback, that, uh, the, and, and I've gotten this feedback before too, so maybe I should finally fucking bite the bullet and... Uh, get involved in this, but like I was told that I should play Knights of the Old Republic because uh, it, uh, it it apparently broadens the ethical questions and the scope of the bullshit. But like, you know, it's it's still one of those things where ultimately uh, we're, we're dealing with space and that space that we're dealing with is controlled by the powers that should not be. Now, People say, oh, well, if Elon can get us to Mars first, then it'll be a win for the private sector. And the powers that should not be aren't involved in that because my capitalism, free market, private property, right, libertarian talking point, jack off motion circle jerk. Um, ultimately, <laughs> it's bullshit. It's trash. It's not true. And it's not true for the reasons I said. But let's say Elon does get to space. It'll be a lot like The Expanse. It'll be a lot like Elysium or Snowpiercer. It won't be like fucking you getting freedom on Mars. You can't pay your student loans. You have a mortgage. You have a failing marriage. You have real world problems that, you know, small people without billions of dollars have. You are getting left here. He is spending money to leave you here. If he ever does get up there, it'll be for him and his rich buddies to go be rich buddies in rich space while the world crumbles around us. We won't get fucking resources. We won't get more freedom. We won't get jack shit. We'll get fucking... Uh, luxury condos, that being one-bedroom apartments with pods that we rent from the World Economic Forum, the Davos Elite, while the Great Reset has removed all privacy from our currency and we're all fucking pawns in their system. That's what we'll get. Make no fucking mistake. Um, so, space isn't for us. When people act like space is for us and Elon is inching us closer to that, uh, I laugh because no, he's not. Uh, you're living vicariously through Elon because you don't have the money to participate in what he's discussing. 
and you probably won't be alive when the project's complete and when people actually do end up there. And meanwhile, the elites can talk about, you know, mass death and destruction and have murals that they cover up at the Denver International Airport with a pale horse on the runway where, like, you know, the elites can have, like, Georgia Guidestones talking about reducing the human population and then let it slip at various conferences and times that that's exactly what they're doing. The elites can have that because they're going to go to fucking space or they're going to go to one of their tunnel cities and they're going to live however they fucking want. That's what they're going to get. You, you are staying right there in your shit-ass apartment until it all goes up in flames. And you cheer on the man who is lighting a torch. Now, let me get into more of the Elon part. I just thought I'd, you know, uh, light a torch and torch your dreams before I did anything else. Because what kind of, you know, uh, aggressively negative person would I be without doing that? But, like, I, I had so many people who were against me for this tweet. Um, but I went against, like, all the people I could find. They didn't actually have responses in any meaningful way that contradicted what I was saying. None of them. Um, so, I'm going to read the first major one. The one that still ratios my tweet because... Well, actually, let me check. Yeah, no, okay, awesome. I finally passed him. Uh, <laughs> Minarchy Thinker says... And this is 216 Thinker on Twitter says... Musk has massively cut costs for every launch, making it a lot cheaper to go to space. He's literally saving taxpayer money that the government would otherwise be wasting, therefore speeding up progress. He's not infallible, but is doing a lot more good than bad for humanity. <laughs> That's fucking... Gotta love this logic. Y you gotta just... You gotta love it. And you gotta love that Zia Giovanni has responded to his tweet. Um, sh this is a pedophile who thinks it's okay to masturbate babies, so great company. You should probably block that guy. But the, the, the whole point is that uh, ultimately, uh, the general notion here should be why are tax victims paying this money to begin with? And does he reduce it to zero? Because if he doesn't, then he's still an unnecessary cost that shouldn't be being paid, that is being stolen, because taxation is theft. I mean, maybe a minarchist wouldn't understand that, but I'm pretty sure that you've been in these circles long enough to know that, right? Let's be real here. Let's be real and say that the cost of SpaceX and everything else Elon Musk does should be zero to taxpayers. Why is it better that he is allegedly stealing less? That just means that other sectors of the government economy, the government industrial complexes, can fucking grow. That doesn't mean that the money is just going to go back to people, blah, 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 blah. It means that it's still going to be out there, being used by the government. To do government things that you allegedly hate. It's just dizzying. It's dizzying. The spin that some people put on this stuff. And I don't dislike this person. But God, do they spin things sometimes, you know? Um, so I quote tweet that. And I say, Elon Musk's cost cutting involves some of that worker mistreatment I mentioned. And also the aforementioned scams. He's not actually saving people money, just moving costs to another area and making a higher profit margin as an individual than any government employee would. Uh, I also responded to some responses on his thread. The first response being from local ANCAP, uh, ANCAP underscore Liberty on Twitter, uh, which, by the way, feel free to follow me. I follow back, but... Uh, this guy's got uh, this tweet here says, I do believe that Elon has and is still lying about crypto to drive up the price. It's insane how many people will blindly follow everything he says, but I also believe that he's a very smart person. He makes some of the best care on the market, and I, he corrects that to cars, and owns a rocket company. And I said, 
The guy prevents people from fixing their own cars and intentionally makes it unnecessarily difficult to source parts, manuals, and mechanics using government. His rocket company uses state resources and would not have sprung from a free market. Zach, stalemate IB, says, So far as space is concerned, NASA was losing its edge, except for the Jet Propulsion Lab. Even with getting government assistance, one could look at Musk's projects in light of the desire to revive the sort of space missions that NASA once pioneered. By the way, just a reminder that NASA was heavily influenced and operational by the Operation Paperclip bullshit, so remember the Nazis never really lost, they just moved. But let, let me just... <laughs> My response to this, yet what we really got was a guy who lied about a tunnel product he used to sell people dirt and cheap tchotchkes so the guy could throw money at surveillance, satellites, mind control, interface devices, and future colony efforts we won't live on. And he says, I'm not saying Musk's record is flawless. He actually responded to me. Two of them did. Two out of three. Good record. Um... I wouldn't say that about the government either. However, the drive to push forward the electric vehicle revolution is itself a major thing in light of limitations on our production of oil moving forward later in the century, etc. I said the electric vehicle revolution is a marketing gimmick to try and snow the fact that the lithium plastics and computer parts in his cars are still reliant on the military-industrial complex, still bad for the environment, especially long-term, and overpriced so profits go to space for the rich. And he says, why the military-industrial complex? So I linked an article. Quote, Tesla activated its battery gigafactory and China's moving to hoard the world's cobalt supplies at the same time that Trump promises a military buildup that can only happen with the precious metal. Not to mention the fact that a lot of lithium comes from war countries. You, 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 you getting the picture yet? That maybe, maybe Musk isn't a fucking saint? Maybe he's just a normal human trying to manipulate markets and use government to his advantage. Oh, no, I can't say that. Right libertarians will get mad. Uh, <laughs> another person who now follows me, I believe. Uh, they still follow me. I'm sorry about that. My account is an extremely negative place, as I'm sure you now know. But uh, Ample Enterprises at Rothbardian42 says... Free markets are more efficient and good for humanity like this in every other area, too. Basically, why I've transitioned from anarchist to anarchist. If the private sector can be the superior with space travel, why not public security and defense? I said he's not private sector or free market. I'm extremely glad you in you're interested in anarchism, but maybe don't use that statement as a foil for supporting a statist doing statism. That's, like, not true and, like, very dangerous for all of us. Um, so that he, he, uh, he or she, I don't know, Ample Enterprises responded all above abo uh, about me too. Uh, sorry, above me. Uh, all of those above me too. It's late. I'm exhausted. Are good points making me rethink this? But not. But how does he mistreat his employees? Seems like one of the better paying billionaires. Um, and he included or they whatever. I don't know. Included a SpaceX salary search result about like ninety three thousand two hundred forty a year, uh, and I said, I quoted this Guardian article, which says ambulances have been called a hundred plus times since twenty fourteen for workers experiencing fainting spells, dizziness, seizures, abnormal breathing, and chest pains. Hundreds more were called for injuries and other medical issues. This and more, a whole lot more. And I linked an article called Tesla Factory Workers uh, Reveal Pain, Injury, and Stress. Quote, everything feels like the future but us. Yeah, because everything is the future but you. You're not in the plans, yo. You're a shitty worker. You're not one of us awesome god people that need to transcend the stars because we're better than you. You're a fucking shit-ass factory worker. Get back to work. You don't get fucking special treatment. You're still a peon prol. Just because you work at Tesla doesn't change that. Uh, that's, that's the attitude these people have. There's still just numbers in a system. <laughs> it's not like he's on a first-name basis with them all. Um, and so 
He says they whatever. They say I should just do that. Yeah, that's pretty indefensible. How do we fix it? Also, this is interesting. If the money losing part is true, it definitely supports him not at all being free market or private sector, at least with Tesla. Uh, and and includes a picture quote We're a money losing company. This is not some situation for where, for example, we are just greedy capitalists who decided to skimp on safety in order to have more profits and dividends and that kind of thing. It's just a question of how much money we lose and how do we survive? How do we not die and have everyone lose their jobs? Musk! Can we stop? Can we stop acting like this is some like amazing for-profit innovation when it's literally doing the same thing that the fucking USPS is. Just a little. Just a little irritated. Just a little insane. I feel, again, very much like the world is on crazy pills and I'm the only one who's sober or one of, like, very few people who get that, yeah, you know what? Maybe losing money on a fucking venture and sinking all that into taxpayer coffers is probably not a good thing for the taxpayers. But for some reason, this is controversial among libertarian circles. Libertarians get to claim that he's some libertarian hero and make comparisons to Iron Man. But he's not an inventor, really. He doesn't do mostly anything for you. And ultimately, what he does do is for him... And it's ultimately designed to serve the interests of the financial elite so that they can all go to space, they can all have their own fucking program up there, and they can ignore all the bullshit that has been being made down here on Earth. I said, we'll see, this is where the, well see, sorry, this is where the disconnect between certain right libertarians and actual right libertarian theory comes in. The solution is simple. Only support those businesses which start from total scratch. The actual free market will invisible handle the situation. For real. Um, <laughs> I also said anyway, feel free to follow for a worse day every day. That really is what my Twitter is. It's just a worse day every day. If you want negative experiences and you want to like see how awful everything is pretty much all the time and then watch the results of my rage as I slowly slip into a fucking like existential crisis every other 12 hours, uh, feel free to follow me because that's what my social media is. But at the same time, I'm not fucking wrong. And that's what I care about. I care about not being fucking wrong. You know, it's really nice to not be wrong because then you don't have to give a shit that people don't like it, which is why it's funny <laughs> that, uh, that uh, Minarchy Thinker just quote tweeted it with wrong and threw a YouTube video at me where it went over the fact that Tesla makes their own stuff so that means they're cheaper than NASA so it's like arguable but uh, to be incredibly clear and extremely specific one of the reasons NASA is in the red is because they're fucking making things that he's using so of course if your company is making the launch pads and the highly sensitive equipment and the shit that need is, is necessary to safely and effectively launch bullshit, if other people have already built that because of government dollars and their shit is already in the red, you're in the red company too will save money additionally by using the stuff that put these other companies in the red. It's almost like when you use government resources, you're profiting off the fact that other people were forced to pay for that. Ah, uh, maybe. You know, but that would involve integrity and consistency. Uh, and also nothing in his video disproved me. <laughs> None of it. All my claims are perfectly sourced and his video didn't contend with a single one. Uh, so I quote tweeted it and I said... If I say the word wrong, I can ignore the sources this guy provided and throw a source at him which doesn't refute anything he said. If you don't want to debate, just admit that and move on. This thing where you fail before you start ain't a W. I'll wait for that. Um, and one more thing. I know you read the replies because you liked one of the replies to one of them. How exactly does this video refute the Guardian article which proves my point? The one you liked. I know sometimes you like to aimlessly disagree with me, but at least try. He has not responded yet. <laughs> and, you know, 
okay, even if uh, I'm right, I'm still an asshole. I understand people not responding to me, even if they have a point. But you know what? I still have that inkling in my mind that maybe I just won and they don't want to admit it, so they just stop talking. So there's that potential element, too. Feel free. Leave your hate comments. Tell me how wrong I am, even though I've sourced everything. But uh, I've sourced everything, and I'm not wrong. And nobody's proven otherwise. Which is why I said, quote, Elon Musk bros are a cult. He's a net negative with designs on putting his rich buddies and himself into space, so he'll manipulate whatever he has to to get there. This is why he still supports Doge, but helped shaft Bitcoin and others because m environment. Fuck y'all. For real. That's it. Fuck y'all. Uh, Reed Williamson at Reed Create had something real good to say. These people are empty vessels with no real sense of personality or conviction. They submit to anything which appeals to their Marvel comic book fantasy delusion they live in, which is why they think worshipping Musk will transport them out of their miserable lives. What a waste. Yeah! Fucking awesome. Extremely accurate. Maybe, uh, think like that, doing the thinking thing. Because that's exactly what it is. Um, now, I won't say that people who responded uh, to this thing that I wrote were empty vessels. But certainly a lot of Elon Musk fans fucking are. You know, they're not even willing to interact with me. They mostly block me when I make points like this. And I'm waiting for a block from the big man himself. But we'll fucking see about that. Either way, I shit on this for a fucking reason. And I'm not wrong. They haven't proven me wrong. The person who thought they had me has now padlocked their account and changed all their information to offline, but only after revealing who he was and making a bunch of lists of things that I easily and handily disproved with more sources. Uh, he was <laughs> Lucid Luzion, um, Ponyburu admin, political idiot, free speech advocate, Second Amendment, horny on Maine, <laughs> I retweet porn and rule 34, Debate me, a uh, debate as a means to learn. MLP sometimes. And he, in, he includes this thing ammo or Gus at Pony Burrow profiles, Luzion. The MLP crowd really likes Elon Musk. Fucking overlap, maybe? Overlap between some people who like that sort of thing and people who have no actual concept of the future or what technology will be used for. Hmm? Anyway, after I'm done with my bitter little rant there, I figured I'd just jump into some of the nasty stuff here because I'm not even close to done yet. Um, <laughs> let me get in to some of these articles over here because... Um, the satellites that I constantly talk about as being the expansion and uh, universalization of the satellite surveillance grid. Those things. Starlink wins nearly $900 million in FCC subsidies to bring the internet to rural areas. This was in December. $900 million. $900 million. $900 million. You know who could have used that? Uh, struggling workers with a fucked economy. But they gave it to a rich guy to make satellites so that he could sell expensive internet to poor people. What? So that he can make more profit for more uh, private sector space flights involving huge amounts of government money. And using government facilities. And encouraging government. What? This guy is your libertarian hero? Can you tell me fucking why? Maybe it's because of that old line. I forget who wrote it. But it's like Americans fancy themselves temporarily embarrassed millionaires. It's like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be there someday right there with the Elon Musky boy. And we'll fucking jet off to the stars and be best friends. But that's just the tip of the fucking iceberg there. Because <laughs> it's not just about the, eight point, uh, the 
$185.5 million worth of federal subsidies. Uh, it's not that. Um, and it's also not the, the, the tenth of the $9.2 billion in funds awarded to 180 companies, the FCC's Phase 1 auction, with the subsidies designed to be an incentive for broadband providers to bring services to the unserved and hard-to-reach areas of the U.S. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's not just that. And the fact that it's expanding the surveillance grid and making sure that it's accessible everywhere and that nowhere is really safe. Uh, but it's also the fact that uh, uh, we're dealing with, like, a grifter. Like, this guy makes so much fucking money off the government. Uh, if you look at this, Clean Technica says... Uh, Tesla received $0.4 billion of federal loans and bailout supports via the Advanced Technology Vehicles Manufacturing Loan Program. <laughs> and he did repay it, sure, right? But Tesla's total subsidy value, according to the data, is $2,441,582,590 across 109 awards, 82 federal Grants and tax credits, as well as 27 states and state and local awards. And that's just Tesla. Ha ha ha. That's just fucking Tesla. Um, so if you look into it, uh, there's also <laughs> $1.9 billion in new funding to SpaceX. Um, and, and, and that's like, what was this? In, in 2020? Right? <laughs> like, it's massive profits, right? And SpaceX got like $316 million for a defense contract. I just... SpaceX regularly relies on this shit. Los Angeles Times says, Elon Musk's growing empire is fueled by $4.9 billion in government subsidies. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Can you hear the free market churning away? And then you can go to the soapbox and see an article called Elon Musk's Big Government Grift. You can go to Bankers Anonymous and see Hater's Guide to Tesla. Can we just fucking admit that Elon Musk is not a libertarian hero? Can we fucking admit that sucking the cock of a billionaire does not make you a supporter of liberty. Can we fucking admit that a guy who gets massive amounts of defense money and money from the U.S. government in general to use U.S. government facilities is not private? Can we admit that this is not a private sector or free market victory? And that those don't exist really because the U.S. economy is totally fucked into the dirt by regulations, inflation, and <laughs> hyper-government in all sectors of life. Can we finally admit that? Can we do that? No? Shit. Yeah, I forgot. These are right libertarians, and a lot of them don't care about any of that stuff because money is involved. And then when money happens, it's good thing suddenly. I'm very cynical, but I'm not wrong. You can hate me. You can dislike what I'm saying, but I'm not wrong. You know, I chose the extra bluish space light tonight. I thought it'd be funny if I looked like I was in one of those washed out, hyper lit environments in a spaceship in a space movie. You know, this isn't how space is. You, you use low lights. You use only as much light as is necessary to illuminate your things because you're trying to conserve power so that you don't use too much of it in case it ever goes out and you need to rely on backups. You don't fucking do this shit. You're not fucking Patrick Swayze hours over here. But most people's vision of space ain't that fucking realistic. Most people's vision of Elon Musk ain't that fucking realistic. And let me just say, I'm kind of super fucking bitter about him uh, being one of the prime reasons that the cryptocurrency market is fucked right now. Haha, -ha. maybe, maybe. Uh... Don't support the guy who support who supports a joke coin over one that's being used to help people currently. Huh? Maybe don't do that. Maybe don't do that and call yourself a libertarian, a capitalist, free market, etc., 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 etc. Maybe 
realize he's bad for everybody but him and his fucking buddies, his benefactors. Maybe realize that this is the way it is for the vast majority of the U.S. economy. Maybe realize that if you want anarcho-capitalism, if you want anarchy in general, you gotta oppose those who enable and rely on the state. Anarcho-capitalism is an alternative form of capitalism, theoretically. That means you've got to be alternative. You can't do it the same way everybody else did. And you have to admit that since it's an alternative, there's a prime form as well. And that form is state capitalism, and it's what we have and what has been for a long time. The free market doesn't exist, and Elon Musk wouldn't rely on it if it did, because he relied on things that already were built, already were being done, and already were paid for by the government in order to get where he fucking is. Just like Facebook, just like Google, just like all these corporations that fucking get their start with government money, he did fucking too. He also got it every step of the way. He got more recently. More, more, and more recently. Can we stop fucking pretending? Can we actually open up our fucking eyes and say that Elon Musk is not our ally? Can we do that? No? Oh shit, I can see the chip on the side of your head. You got one of those Neuralink interfaces. No wonder, sorry. Do not report me to the authorities. I will go peacefully. You see why I'm a little bit fucking irritated? I see dystopia marching forward and so many people who claim to not want that think Elon Musk isn't enough of a part of the cathedral to be a significant problem. Well, let me tell you, they're all problems. And just because somebody doesn't immediately not appeal to your rightist tendencies doesn't mean they're not a threat. But hey, you know what? Ha <laughs> ha! I'm just an insane person ranting in a t-shirt. Feel free to discard everything I just said because you don't actually want to hear it in the first fucking place. Feel free to do it just like you did it before, just like you always do. This is Jeremiah Harding. Smash the fucking state. All of